Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a video that I really want to make but before we get down to that guys, if you like this video you want to see more content like this then please feel free to give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so this um, video is called football, how to improve football refereeing um, now this all comes after soccer teachers red card uh, against Fulham when he played for West Ham just less than a week ago. Uh, the red card's been overturned, thankfully, but the game can't keep decreasing like this. I mean, England's referees have been told, you know, we never get picked, our referees never get picked for, you know, the big Europe competitions like the Champions League final or stuff like that, or the big international competitions like uh, World Cup, the World Cups and the Euros. But how can we improve our game and still make fans happy? Now, I'm going to talk to you slightly about what I think we could do, what I think us fans could do um, to make the game a bit better on the referees, but then how can the referees make it better for us fans? So let's go back a bit two ways. I'm going to kick off with the fans first of all. Um, now I know a lot of fans don't like it when the decision goes towards your club. Um, I don't like it when it goes against my club but I have sort of digested to it over the past few seasons so you know I am slightly getting there. If or when you can return to football if the referee makes a decision that's not really against your uh, it is against your team, sorry. Then you really have got to start thinking of, okay, well, if it's the other foot, then I'll be with the referee. But I think we need to start slightly looking up towards, you know, that sort of way. Um, now, as I said, this decision is really how can we approve football here in the UK? especially in the English game because it can't keep going like this. This video has came about thanks to Simon Jordan and Danny Murphy on Talk Sport. Um, now, a lot of people are saying, oh VAR's the problem, VAR's doing this, if you didn't have VAR, Danny Murphy is really anti-VAR and he's got his right to be, it's his own opinion, I can't tear that away from him. But, I listened to it on Talk Sport this morning and to be honest when I talk about stuff like this it's passionate for me because I am a real big football fan I've been following football for nine on 20 years and um, really since I've been old enough to understand the game and really walking um, you know but I really think we need to improve this football referee and as our people say so how do we improve it? Right, I'm not sure where the professional game quite creeps in. I think it's Division 6 or 5. I'm not too sure, you know, where it does creep in. But anyway, so what we do, and it could go all the way down to Sunday League if the FA and the Sussex FA and all these big FA's, uh, you know, communities push it in. We come up with a tier system, a bit like a Premier League table, um, a bit like a Championship table and so on and so on. Let's say, for example, referee, let's say for example Mike Bean, because he's at, you know, at the forefront of this uh, Socrates record. Now let's say he has a bad month, right? We all know he's a Premier League referee, we've all got his own opinions of him, we've all, but, but anyway. So what we do is, we come up with a tier system with the referees referees only don't involve the league don't involve you know like the clubs in the league don't involve nothing like that but it does involve the referees and let's say Mike Dean has a bad month and we come up with a total point system so like 10 points for a good game anything below five is a bad game anything above five is an okay game anything you know above eight is an excellent game or a good game but so what we do is let's say Mike Dean has a bad month what we do with Mike Dean is we relegate Mike Dean as a professional referee 
and he can only go do championship games just for a month and then back at that month we then we do the point system again and he has to get a certain amount of points to get back into Premier League referee because I think this is the best way to do it personally one the referees ain't guaranteed um, you know a Premier League game every week which we are getting over here and I think it happens everywhere I do think there needs to be more referees coming through the system but that's in my um, part, the department to do that so so my thing let's say for example right let's say there's six games in a month um, as I said 10 points for an excellent game and you need roughly around about 35 to 40 points to get back to one to promote the Premier League referee. I think that would make us fans happy. I think that it will also do the referees a good job to keep them on their toes because I think what's happening is our referees are getting so used to basically, you know, oh, I'm the Premier League referee, I'm the Premier League every week. I'm the same as the players, exactly the same as the players. Obviously, the players are contracted, so you really can't, you know, do anything with the players. But except for dropping from the team, and some of them do. But to have a relegation system with the, as I said, the referees, and even maybe the fourth officials, especially the line, not the fourth official itself. Obviously, all he does is hold up the board after this pandemic. And then hopefully get back to some sort of normality in the next uh, couple of weeks, next couple of months, hopefully. But let's just say you have that you know, system where everyone stays in, t everyone stays in their place. Same with you know, I know there's a few big Premier League referees. Chris Kavanagh is another one that springs to mind. But let's just have a little tier system within the referees of the professional game because. I do think if we can get a tier system in with the referees and as I said even with the match officials because I know some linesmen are a bit slow I remember that test of him I went to Chelsea I'm not quite sure what level he was in the professional game but he is a professional and um, full official but you know get a little tier system going I think that way the fans would be happy I think that way you know the referees be happy because they can't draw they can't drop their standard um i think that's what's happening a lot referees are dropping their standard thinking well i'm a premier league referee i've done it you know i've got nothing to hire if you have a sort of relegation system with a promotion system and that gives a bigger chance for the you know not obviously non-league referees and i know non-league is a hard league to do anyway because there's no VAR or you know people call it normal football but I do think if referees have a sort of radical and as I said it gets the you know the lower league referees a bigger chance to come and referee big games even if that's just league two league one standards you know it's a big game for a small referee who does none league I think if we could get that going I think that improve the refereeing very well within the English game and hopefully up our standard and as I said um, I think fans got played a part in this but then we've also got as I, I, this is why I covered it this way because you know the, I've covered the fans so I think we need to support the referee for Sam White because she was on the other foot but then in this title of how to approve referee in, in football um, has really came about and I hope I've answered your question Guys, if you've got any suggestions about improving football refereeing, put it down in the comments below. But until then, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.